Alrighty folks, welcome back Pirates to another One Piece TCG video. Uh, today I'm going to be opening up the second starter deck, the worst generation starter deck, the green starter deck for the new One Piece card game. You've already hopefully seen the red starter deck opening that I done yesterday, so we're now kicking off with the second one. Now I really like this deck, I think this is my favourite deck. Um, of the four, I like the way that it plays, I like the cards that it has, um, so I'm super excited to, to be talking about it, it's the one that I've played the most in testing as well. Um, so yeah, uh, we kick off of course by getting rid of the box and putting in the cards. We've got the standard for this thing, uh, for this these decks, the 10 pre-release stamped Dawn cards, so don't need to talk too much about them, they're just very basic pre-release stamp Dawn cards, yeah. So here we have the boy, Kid himself. He's got a super cool ability. You can rest four, three of your Dawn and trash a card to re-stand your leader. So basically you attack with it and it becomes suspended. Then you rest three Dawn and trash a card and re-stand and you can swing again. Um, this whole deck functions around re-standing your cards and attacking multiple times with one character or leader per turn. Super fun. Um, and yeah, let's start off by going through the actual deck itself. So you've got your leader, obviously, but for the actual deck, we've got two copies of Trafalgar Law. Uh, Laws on play is Restand a Supernova or Heart Pirates. All of the cards in this deck are Supernovas and Heart Pirates, I believe, so you can always use his effect. He costs a lot, but he has a 6k as well, so once you've played him, he has Summoning Sickness, or he can't attack the turn that he's played. But then after that, if he stays on the field, you're going to be able to continue to, to attack with him for a decent amount. So very good, he's one of the SRs of the set, and you get two of them. And then we've got two copies of Eustace Captain Kid. This is your 7 cost, 7k power. Uh, the, art, the art is fucking amazing. He's a blocker. And if you give him a Dawn at the end of your turn, you set him as active. So basically what you do is that you play him out, you potentially block with him, and then on your next turn you can swing with him, give him a Dawn, swing with him for 8k, and then at the end of your turn, if he's still on the field, he will restand, giving you your blocker function again. So a really good card. I recommend you run more of these in the deck, along with running at least like more of the law as well. Um, just a really, really good card to have. So we've got two of those. We've got three copies, uh, sorry, three copies, four copies of uh, Vanilla Vito. Now, the thing that annoys me about these cards is that they don't have an ability, but the, the artwork isn't the full. I don't know why. Um, I, I mean, it is what it is. He's just a 3k Vanilla with 1k counter power. Um, during your battle phase, you can discard cards that have a counter to buff the person that's being attacked or the creature, the character or leader that's being attacked. So yeah, um, go check out the One Piece tutorial app. It's super fun, lets you play the game, figure it out, and then you can check all the other videos on YouTube as well. So you've got four copies of Vito, four copies of Rouge, sorry, two copies of Rouge. Um, Dawn times one if you've got three or more characters out this character against 2k power so it's going to become 6k if you've got three or more guys out a good card i would run multiple of uh, more than two of them um before you start subbing in cards from the new set you've got four beige or beige or capone or however you say it he's your one cost blocker for green keep him at four very good card to have especially getting it out early game to prevent early game damage and um, keep him at four you've got one of the best cards in the set you've got killer killer ko is a three cost or less on play and his trigger when hitting life is to play him out so you can potentially play him out for free and ko something there's only two cards of this in the deck i recommend you run four it's a very good card and there will be a card coming out in um the first booster set op1 that lets you bounce him back to your hand and replay him for free so i, I really recommend you get another one of these Four copies of Kobe. Kobe's just a vanilla 6k, uh, 1k counter. Um, not not much more to say. Cool artwork. I like the, the zoom snail that he's got. Don't know why he's got that. Again, I don't know One Piece that well. Um, but I'll be featuring creators that do. Four copies of Bonnie. Now, Bonnie's a really important card in this deck. 
Um, once you play her out, you can rest one Dawn and rest Bonnie herself to look at the top five cards of your deck and take a Supernova card and add it to your hand. And this lets you add event cards and any other card, basically, uh, that was in this deck. So I really recommend you run this, especially if you're running purely Supernovas, because it will uh, always, almost always net you a card that you can use, and it's a good search as well. We've got four copies of Scratch Minapu. Uh, Don, uh, one Don when attacking, rest one of your opponent's Don. So this is a good thing to do. Um, attach. He's got a 2k counter power as well, which is really strong. Um, and if your opponent's left one Don active that, so they can counter something, maybe play a counter event card, you can rest this before the attack happens so they don't have the chance to. And then if you play, if you do that early game, you can then swing with your leader or any other cards as well without worrying about any counter events being played. So, yep, super good card. I like this in the deck. Basil, Hawkins, two copies. Uh, give him a Dawn and once per turn, if he battles a character, you restand him. What's important here is that if you swing at your opponent's leader and they block, then because he's battling a character, he will restand. Or you can just swing at an opponent's character. If you give him a Dawn to activate his ability, he's going to be 7k, so that's going to be hard to counter or, or, or block. And then restand him and swing again. Um, great way of clearing boards. I would be running this at 4 um, if you get two of the decks, because he has a very, very strong 5 cost to be playing. We've got four copies of Heat. Again, just a two drop 4k vanilla with a, a counter power. You do need to make sure that you are still running your counter cards. Um, but maybe not as, as high as this deck uh, has it when you mash them together. But yeah, um, I like their artwork. They look kind of weird. Um, I like Bear and Tracksuit. Bear and Tracksuit uh, is funny. This is Beeple uh, for a 1 cost 3k. Slap him down on the first turn of the game. Ideally, you want to be playing Bonnie or, or Beige on the, the first turn of the game. But if not, pop down a Beeple. Um, and there are cards coming out that lets you play people for free and stuff like that, so that's cool. X Drake, another two. Oh no, there's four of them. Um, Don plus one. Uh, Don times one. Uh, if he's rested, all of your other guys get plus one K power. A good card to have. Still run it as a four. Um, or maybe even a three. Good mid game. Not as good late game, but that's because you'll have your, your bigger guys out late game. But I, I do like this card. Then we move on to our event cards. We have two copies of Scalpel, which gives your leader plus 2k during the battle, and then you restand one of your Dawn. So it costs a Dawn to use, but then you get to restand your Dawn. So I would up the cost of this. Um, I would up this to four in the deck just because it's a good counter card for a one cost, basically for free. And then if it triggers in security, you get two Dawn active. So you could potentially counter another attack. Two copies of Repel, which is your stronger version. Um, no trigger in security, but gives your leader or characters plus 4k and then restands a Dawn. So if you've got two Dawn active, you could potentially use Repel and set your Dawn as active, then use Scalpel uh, the next turn or, the ne or for a continuing counter um, to buff your guy quite strong. Very good card. Oh, no, sorry, there's four copies of Repel. My mistake. So four of these. Um, again, keep it as a four of. Super good. Um, Raw sword, two copies. Uh, run this as a four of. Rest one of your opponent's character for two is insanely strong. It rests anything, so you could rest one of their big guys and swing over it, or you could, like, if you're against the the red deck, you could rest their Namis and swing over them because they're never going to attack with Nami while they're safe because it's too good a card to attack with. So this would let you swing over them to clear the board for some board control. If you get two starter decks, play four of these. In my opinion, super strong. And that will do it for the green starter deck. Um, I Like I said, I really like this deck. It's really fun. Um, this is the one I'm going to be playing for a while. As mentioned last time, in the promotional pack, you get one copy of Eustace Kid, which is Dawn times two, and you gain double attack. Put at least two to three of these in your deck if you can get hold of them. Double attack is ex extremely powerful because it's not like Digimon where you get security attack plus one, etc. When you deal a double attack, both life uh, cards are checked at the same time, and then you get to your opponent gets to trigger um, one or both of them if they if they want to or are able to. Um, so it's two damage basically for one attack. 
really really strong he's because you need two dawn to attach to get this power he's going to be a 6k double breaker essentially so yeah really really good promo card to add in but that's going to do it for this episode guys again we've got two more coming up to tomorrow and thursday uh, for croc and for kaido so i hope you stick around and watch those but yeah thanks very much for watching guys and i will see you next time bye for now